On Wednesday, mutinous soldiers in Gabon announced that the head of the country's elite Republican Guard would lead the Central African country. The coup leader said in an announcement on Gabon State TV that General Bryce Clotaire Oligi had been unanimously designated president of the Committee for the Transition and Restoration of Institutions. Oligi is the cousin of President Ali Bongo Ondimba, who had been declared the winner of the country's presidential election. In a video apparently from detention in his residence, Bongo called on people to make noise to support him. However, the crowds who took to the streets of the capital celebrated the coup against a dynasty accused of getting rich on the country's resources wealth, while many of its citizens struggle. Gabon is located in the western shores of Central Africa and its capital city is Libreville. A former French colony, Gabon's main economic sector is oil production and export. The nation became a full member of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries in 1975, but terminated its membership in 1995 to rejoin the organization in 2016. Despite its constitution establishes that a president must serve for a seven-year term, former President Omar Pongo Ondimba ruled the nation for 41 years until his son Ali was elected after his death in 2009, ensuring the Bongo family a 55-year dominance in the nation. And after the announcement of a military faction seized power in Gabon, videos and pictures of Gabonese people packing the streets to celebrate the ousting of President Ali Obongo on Dimba. In Liverpool, crowds cheer as soldiers pass by as they voice their concord with the mutinous forces that now put an end to the 55-year rule of the Bongo family. The military takeover also comes as people and the troops question the elections of August 26 and the former leader announced the results. This is the sixth coup the tie in an African country in the last three years.